out. So this is going to make their uh, lives tougher in the first half. We've seen some struggles with from NIP on uh, on Cobblestone. I think there's a, there was a model of that maybe to help things out, but it didn't work out for NIP. Speedy getting wall banged a little. Oh, he's getting wrecked. So he's down to a four versus four, and uh, the T's have half the sight now, but these smokes are starting to disappear. You can see Mouse boosting onto the high ground as everything becomes quiet. Spotted now, next gets two frags traded, but they'll, they'll take that. There's less risk in this play uh, for Nico than if they knew NIP had an off. Yeah, just constant harassment here from NIP. They get themselves into a drop with, with get right into that connected position. He, he knows that there was a player nearby. He takes down Nico. Considering the fact they lost pistol as well. Brute Force appears to be the channel for which NIP will sail into the B bomb sites. And everyone's set up off the stage. Ooh, Pit getting a bit cheeky with the uh, worry not. Oh, uh, we even have a proper boost from Mouse Boss. Then they're going to get shot through the smoke, of course. <laughs> that is terrible luck. I think sometimes there's value in just putting the smoke down to see if there's a reaction from a CT such as this, but uh, Dennis needs a better flashbang than that. They're going to get taken down one by one here if I get right. Just not winning the duels against him. Five versus three, and he's still got control of this area. A re smoke coming in from a teammate as well. No problems to be had here. Nico, third 1v1. You can see into drops, so one player spotted. Now he knows what's going on. He'll make the call to his teammates, but he doesn't get a single connection. He's trying desperately to get a headshot, but Exist doesn't get anything just yet. It's Freiburg to pull a result out of the bag here for NIP, but more needs to follow if they want to do this. And Freiburg's delivering two kills. Their forest coming in as well. And that's going to be the rounds for NIP. They're going to Just win. a nade man on the buy round in general. Yeah, he's got some nades himself, though. Pop flash coming in. So they need to get close to the site, they need to get close to these players. Get right's gone down. Pit and Exist coming in to put in work. Pit playing down the statue. And he's baiting for his teammates as well. Two players down for NIP. So here we go, the bomb plant goes down. And again, it's the CTs on a retake. Molotovs to take down Freiburg. Pit looking to push through the smoke. Some CTs will pass him. Oh, is that the M4 as well? It is. Only the UMPs are remaining. Next has got 16 XP. Next is down. The uh, NIP at Molotov, I think we can call it at this point. Well, off to a good start. Running out of bullets and it's time to close the distance. Exist going to come close while Forrest holding the angle. The CTs with flashes though, down to three versus three. NIP moving quickly up short now. I think we're seeing... A... Oh, okay. Hello. Nico says no. Nico says... Speedy did drop an M4, but he has a mass and a flash, and why not, Chris J? It's Chris J with the scout, man. And he's got the, uh, the, the great spot with the end. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's obviously a six spot for the or because it's a one-shot kill to the torso or the head, of course. But Chris J is going to find nothing but heads with that scout. It's basically a more mobile AWP for Chris J. James, because they're all headshots. Headshots for days from Chris J with that scout play. Is he going to get any more here? Another shot coming in. Doesn't get the frag with that one, but it's a four versus two here for Mouseport. So Chris J coming up massive for the team. Another tag coming in. Gets the finish as well. No. Just solo killing the entire team. Can Nico hold on to this weapon? They've got loads of time for, to wait, because undoubtedly CTs are eventually going to try and pick up this AK. And now the shots are starting to fly off wow. for the CTs. That was stellar from Nico. And now it's going to allow them to uh, to play out the round more properly again. But there is actually a CT close to double doors. Don't think he's going to get a sneaky one versus one. You see Nico's waiting for more peaks, and he's going to get exactly that. So at least. And the problem is the AWPers aren't really in position, so this is a great result. But Freiburg with this Deagle, he could do insane work! Two frags out of Freiburg, looking for the third, but he's not going to pick it up this time. But he's done enough for his team. Just get running pit left. Very hard to get. What? Oh, Gary right. gets in position with the pistol and he's going to drop the bomb and there's no time to finish the round. LAP may have done this to pick and survive in time. He's got one second. He'll do it. Oh my God. Oh my God.